Hi everybody. Uh, in this lesson, I will talk about how to update an item of uh, Flatlist using uh, Swipe and the uh, model here. Uh, so firstly, we continue with the f previous lesson. Now you want to add a edit button to here. You want to add a edit button to here. So uh, you do the same as with the delete button. Uh, so let's start from here. Uh, uh, from this array, you add uh, more object to here. Uh, this object here uh, contains the edit button, and the type is primary or uh, uh, blue color. So you show to the screen alert update. Okay, so we have the edit button here, uh, and the update. Uh, alert will show when you press to the edit button uh, so you create a new file we have for uh, edit model dot js and uh, this file contains the uh, model for edit and uh, it uh, is the same as the add model so you can copy the code from uh, uh, add to edit you can copy this code and uh, uh, click to edit model and paste to here uh, then you have to uh, change a little bit you can rename uh, replace and rename some of the variable or object uh, first you need to rename the add model to edit model and replace on uh, simple and the second we can change the uh, uh, message so the new food will become food or uh, editing foot yes you can change to editing foot or foot uh, it is okay so new foot name uh, will be foot name you change to foot name and replace own okay uh, so what about the new foot description will be changed to a uh, foot description replace own uh, so what about as uh, uh, here we have message that uh, uh, this code line will be removed so we delete this because I need a uh, function to uh, update not uh, insert then this is the update as uh, here we uh, found we find uh, the uh, object that has a key as the same as a state uh, so we save uh, the key to the state and we yeah uh, for looped or uh, we uh, you know, search from a flash list data array and uh, uh, if we can find this the so the found index larger or equal zero we can update the, the existing object so we can update it with depending on the uh, data in the state yes so uh, you have to check this state has been initialized uh, before by uh, uh, moving to this and check in the constructor uh, so what about the show edit model we will display the edit model uh, we have the food object and we also have the flash lead item that uh, uh, count the transmitter data to uh, this model uh, so uh, uh, after showing the edit model we have to uh, set state or save or save the in uh, the, the editing food information to uh, the state so we save key we save food name we save uh, uh, food description and also a flat list item uh, inside the basic uh, flat list I have to import the a component of edit model then I have to add the edit model to here uh, below the add model and the same as add model uh, so we uh, give it a reference name edit model is a reference name uh, like a variable name and uh, the parent flat list is the object to uh, the basic flat list and in this function I can call by using the parent flat list object 
uh, inside this we have the reference to the edit model uh, so uh, we can call the so uh, what is this function uh, this uh, function is a function that uh, uh, so edit model here and I copy this uh, function name I paste to here uh, and the input parameter we have uh, the editing object and the second is uh, uh, flat list item uh, so the first here is a foot object that you want to edit and the second is a uh, the pointer or this to the flat list item yes uh, these two object input here so uh, what about the debugger we open the debugger and uh, press uh, uh, this button to show the developer tool uh, so inside the tool we can uh, run the simulator uh, click to the edit yes and I see that uh, we uh, have the value for editing food uh, okay uh, we can check this uh, uh, correct and this is a function in this function we have uh, the console log here and uh, you press to edit and uh, change it to the new uh, value so we have a new value here press save okay but uh, the arrow is not it does not update automatically but when you press your finger it uh, it only update yes it updates correct okay we change the value and we press save and not update but when you press your finger to it it is updated okay uh, so uh, what can uh, how to fix this we can fix this by uh, uh, adding here a function to refresh flat list item uh, this function soon will change the state of the flat list item and after the state is changing uh, the flat list item is automatically re render the component uh, so simply we have a variable that start from zero and I increase this when I update when I call the refresh it will be uh, increase the number of refresh and the state is changed and you copy this function uh, paste to here and clone this function from here we uh, clone the flash list item and clone this function uh, paste this function name to here uh, as an input uh, input parameter we have uh, no input okay uh, press to this edit and change this value press okay it is automatically update and you can uh, try the second row we have a uh, ABC and we change this to ABC VBB and press save. Okay, uh, okay, this is the end of my lesson today. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos or uh, get the code from GitHub here for more detail. Bye bye.